welcome and welcome back to my channel i am samai marie aka maya and today i am back with another video today i will be showing you five easy steps on how to start your week influencing journey guys and literally just a couple of months these are the key steps like these are must-haves must-dos whatever you want to call it if you want to start this journey guys i'm gonna waste no time let's just hop right into the video and hop right into the tea so first things first because i have a checklist for you guys if you guys are not following this checklist you're not doing it right first step on the checklist is to basically establish your presence it's obviously your presence on social media okay we are in a wave of technology everything is on the internet in order for you to be seen you're gonna have to hop on the internet i'm sorry i don't know what other way you thought but if, if you wasn't doing that then you was doing it wrong i'm gonna just tell you that right now what you're gonna want to do is any social media platform that you have you need to make it known on that platform that you are a wig influencer i don't care how many followers you have i don't care how many subscribers I don't care what you got okay even if you started from zero what you need to do is make sure that it is clear that you are a wig influencer you need to make that known add some pictures of you with some wigs or add add some videos you know of you you know doing wig like stuff you're gonna need something that you know what i'm saying lets you know that that's what you do right um and it doesn't have to be like broad as day like i know some people say um like in their bio you can email me for a wig influencing da, 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 da. trust me that don't really matter like doing that is not really what they're looking for what they're looking for is proof right what they're looking for is proof but not only do they need proof that you do what you say that you do you also need to make sure that they know who you are so not just the content and the wig influencing but who you are like id wise like identity wise like what is your name what do you go by you know what is your email what's your phone number i would totally recommend um when you start in this field of establishing your presence into wig influencing i highly 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 recommend Go ahead and get you a professional business email and make it separate from like your regular personal email. Like make that separate. You know what I'm saying? Because you have the regular personal email that maybe like when you go to the mall and you sign it up for whatever reward they got going on. Sometimes they do. You got that email that with the spam and stuff. And then you have a business email, which uh, email that you regularly check uh, either every day or every other day. And you read through emails and that's where you'll find, you know, all their inquiries, business inquiries. Give them a space on each platform you have. Wherever you can put it, let them know how to contact you. That's how you establish your presence. You know what I'm saying? Like make it known who you are. After you establish your presence and make it known who you are, now you can go ahead and start making your content. I know a lot of people say like post, 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 like it doesn't matter, like it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, da, 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 da. That's true, but to an extent. Don't just post things that don't have any value. If it doesn't have any value, it's not gonna be worth watching. Like you have to make it to where it's like people want to tune in. So for example, like if you're confident in your wig installing skills like you know like i can do a wig like i install wigs all the time like yada 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 like stuff like that like if you're confident in your skill you know how to do all the you know modern stuff that we do for wigs if you know how to do all that stuff that's great that's great that's a great way to start if you don't know i suggest you do start i'm going to be 100 percent honest i i suggest that you do learn and really get like really sharpen your skills they don't have to be perfect i'm gonna tell you this now they don't have to be perfect but i do recommend you having some type of expertise in order to be able to teach other people well also be yourself while you're making your content when you're creating content not only do you make make sure that 
it is a good quality content but make sure you're making content for every single platform you have like i am not kidding like i know a lot of people be like oh like i only see the way fluent thing on instagram so i'm only gonna do that on instagram no it doesn't work like that i'm sorry but it just really doesn't when you're a wig influencer you have more to offer when you have more platforms to offer when you have more platforms that means more reach that means more audiences that means more of everything basically so you're more of value when you have more platforms so therefore you need to be making content for every single platform you have i mean i know tiktok and youtube you know what i'm saying like they already have different formattings you know like youtube you can do 15 minute video on tiktok you can only do up to three and sometimes they're not even going to watch a three minute video so you have to really decide you know how you want to make your content but make sure you make the most out of your content make sure you really make it stretch okay make sure you have content for all platforms Step three on the checklist, it kind of falls into the category of like step two, but this is like what's really ensuring that you succeed in what you do. Number three is going to be marketing yourself. You have to market yourself. You want to make it in a way that you want to make your content in the way that lets other brands know that you are marketable say for example you make a video right you make a video about this wig install when you're marketing yourself and that that's already what brands are looking for making sure you're adding the details on the wig um also make sure you add in other platforms where you can also see more details on the wig right so for example i might say on my tiktok if I'm doing like a, a one minute video on me installing a wig, kind of like a short video. And I might say, hey, if you guys want to see the full video, full in-depth tutorial on how I installed this wig, go check out my YouTube. You know, like send them each way. Now, I know most of the time, well, a lot of the times people, when they're on one platform, they kind of want to stay on that one platform like there it's not going to be you know that much transition from one platform to another because usually you know the youtube crowd isn't going to be the same as the tiktok crowd it's just not however comma you want to make sure that the audience and the community that you are building has that connection you know so you're marketing yourselves on every platform and then mixing them up. This also plays into making sure that you are being your authentic self, okay? Because being your authentic self is literally priceless. Step four, I feel like is, is something that feels like you should do for step one, and you can, but you know, this is kind of what the approach that I took. Step four is basically doing your research. Trying to do your research is easier said than done. Like you don't know what you're looking for until you need to look for it. I know that firsthand. There are lots of things that you need to take into consideration when you get into this field. You need to prepare yourself and you need to be cautious about it, right? And I'm not saying that to scare anybody or anything like that, because it's not meant to be scary. However, comma, you gotta look out for you look at the competition this is not something new wig influencing is not anything new okay like it's been around for a minute now and now everybody's going to do it so of course you're going to have competition so one part of the research is figuring out what they got that i don't got you know not saying to copy don't be a copycat don't steal a word for word bar for bar don't do that however comma it does help looking at what somebody who is in your same niche or field see what they are doing and what they are marketing and what strategy is working for them and pick up on it please one of my last tips guys that i would have to say is be patient 
Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, for me personally, I my journey took me a few months, you know, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that because we all start from somewhere and I started from scratch. Um, there's a lot of people who started who already had big followings on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok or whatever. You know, some of them, they already had like a leg up on it. If they decided, that's fine. But if you're starting from like ground zero like I did, it might take you a while or it might go quicker than others. Everybody is different. However, comma, I would have to say you have to be patient, you know, and you have to follow through with it. You have to keep on pushing. You have to keep following through with this checklist. Like, Even though you might do all these steps, that's not going to guarantee you anything right away. Nothing happens overnight. Trust me. Or some things do, but sometimes the stuff that we be wanting to happen overnight don't happen overnight. And that's okay. Because it's all going to happen in time. Right? It's all going to happen in time. And when your time comes, you'll be ready. Because it's your time. It's your time to shine. But until then, be patient, my love. It's going to happen. Okay? You just got to keep on following through with the steps. That wraps up my five tips. And how, I mean, yeah, my five tips and my little checklist on how I became a wig influencer and how I got to be doing the things that I do. Now, if you guys want me to go more in depth on these five steps, this is going to be a series, guys. So all you need to do is one, make sure to hit that like button. That lets me know that this helped you or this lets me know that you like the content that I'm putting out. It also helps boost the algorithm, guys. So not only can you see this, but someone else can too. So don't be stingy with the tips because I helped you by dropping the gemstones. Now it's your turn to like this video so that the algorithm can share it, okay? Okay. Next, I'm gonna need you to subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Like I said, one, this is gonna be a series. Two, I got all types of tips and tricks and hints that can help you in this field, okay? Figure out to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that. Because why would you want to miss out on anything? Speaking of missing, not missing out on anything. Speaking of not missing out on anything. Hit that bell button, guys. That's super important, too. Make sure to hit that bell button. That way, you can be notified for whenever I drop a video. And that way, you don't have to miss nothing. You could be on time and there and ready, you know, on your Zoom. You got to get on your Zoom. Every morning, you got to get on your Zoom. And you can't be on your Zoom on time if you ain't hit the notification bell. Hit that bell. Thank you. Anywho, after you done done that, you can go ahead and move on to the next video. Because, baby, I got more tea tips. And I have a whole list and step-by-step -step process on how to get started. Okay? More in-depth than this was. Just click on the next video. I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye, babes. Mwah.